the wait is over, we get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. So here's the former UFC welterweight champion. They also call him the chosen one, Tyron Woodley. Knocked out Robbie Lawler in 2016 to first win the belt, held it for several years, and still has the credentials as one of the best 170-pound fighters on this roster. A-plus athlete is Tyron Woodley, a guy that can explode into his strikes and into his takedowns like no one we've ever seen before. The way that he backpedaled and then knocked out Jay Heron was unbelievable. The way that he just flatlined Josh Koscheck was crazy. He has a right hand that you do not want to be on the receiving end of. Tyron Woodley is truly a special, special fighter. He has had some issues injury-wise with that right hand. He told us before the fight, 100% coming in tonight. When you punch that hard, John, you're, right. you're gonna have some problems with the right hand. I cannot speak to that, but I will <laughs> take your word for it. John's got power. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here is Bruce Buffy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, presenting the challenger, Tyron, the chosen one, one And now, he's the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC Walter White champion of the world, Hobbs and all right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Takedown defense holds up. 
Right hand punch from the clinch. Uppercuts right on the chin. All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just then. During their fight camp, they made a checklist, and they checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Massive head kick. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Wolf. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. A triangle, a triangle. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Round two straight ahead. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay if you will. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his swing words. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top control? Got his guard pass. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Hook to the body, blocked by Wood. Look at him, yank the head, and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, really starting to find a home for that hook here in round two. I watched him land hook after hook in round two. He's gonna try to take him down, there you go. Oh, he slams him down with authority. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Ground and pound 
is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem with the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat. Now he's okay, now he can escape. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat, all weight to his opponent. Well, it looks like Woodley's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Oh, Spinney's back this. He didn't telegraph that one at all. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, what? you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. Side control now. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really tough. The guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. And he's out. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Yeah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Good, solid strike on the ground. All right, so he postures up here, and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. I mean, how many can he take? All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Oh, another brutal hook by him there. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He was able to fight through them in the... He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock, and if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Nice job using this, nicely done. Both fighters back to their feet now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Knees to the body here by Wood. And they separate. Ooh, what a punch. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. And he gets the takedown. The transition with the ankle pick. Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Lands with the left. Ooh. Big knee to the body. Man. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight.
winners round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Well, T. Woods been waiting for an opportunity to set up that right hand and set it up beautifully there. A-plus athlete is Kyron Woodland. He can explode into you at such a high pace that before you can respond, you can be staring up at the light. Woodley gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. And they separate. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Just missed with the left there. Oh, man. Good spin and a punch. Transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the chosen one. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Just over three minutes to go now. Close guard. And he landed the right hand there. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt, he's been battered, he's been beat. And now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Doesn't gain top position. What a beautiful takedown, but he just waited for one second, and his opponent reacted before he could secure top position. Oh, man, I'm so good at that for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Horn sounds for the end of round four. No, 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 no. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. All right, DC's back from the can as we get this next round underway, and his striking in that previous round was so good. I got tired just watching that out. I mean, he did a great job of landing strikes. Not only just punches, not only just strikes, they were significant strikes. A lot of punches outside of the jab. I've gotten in trouble a lot of times about what's significant and what's not. Right. But I'm telling you, he landed a lot of punches that were very easy to make that determination. Leave the stack guys alone. Leave them alone, man. Over and over, I get in trouble. Gets on the feet, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kenny Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has to corner very badly again. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, it looks like Woodley's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. And now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Oh, man, that was slick. Ground and pound strike is true. 
got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Solid strike on the ground. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, north-south position now. I mean, he's walking the arm over. Oh, he's got the choke. It looks like he's trying to attack a windshield choke. This you see more in grappling competitions where they have the key. Wow. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Woodley's got the full mount. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Final seconds of the fight. All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close, but I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. So another one bites the dust. Another challenger goes by the wayside. Congratulations to the still undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. There he is. 